on them is death. And it is slow, creeping, incremental, orchestrated death. If you put poison, there are many poisons that are undetectable that, to the taste buds or to the nostrils, to the olfactory nerve. If you put poison, say, in a African savanna waterhole, the elephants, the lions, the zebras, the giraffes, the baboons, the wild African dogs, they will all come to the water hole, the hippopotamus. They will drink from it and they will die. And even as they see their fellow lions and elephants and baboons dying, they will continue to drink because they are not conscious creatures who are able to scientifically analyze what's happening to them. And the globalists see you as animals. They believe that you are incapable of looking around you and seeing the design. Even when it is in hundreds and hundreds of government-funded policy reports, policy directives, policy plans. There are so many of these reports that Aaron Dykes, only aided by coffee, many days will not sleep, and I have to make him go home after two days of being up here. This is somebody I hired right out of the University of Texas five years ago who didn't really believe in what I was doing, who didn't really buy what I was saying and kind of laughed when I hired him. That's exactly who I wanted to hire. I wanted him to see it. And he'd gone to you know, the UT uh, Public Relations School. You know, he had very good grades when he graduated. He was very intelligent. And I said, you are going to see the dark side. Now, he is so obsessed with reading hundreds of reports on how they're poisoning the water, the food, how they are spraying us via aircraft, the Rockefeller studies, the books on eugenics written by the globalist that that he is probably the only other person in this office who has reached the level of my understanding and perhaps dealing with eugenics even surpassed it. And every day he says, look at this. This is another Rockefeller Foundation report. And I said, send it to Watson. You're going home. It's midnight. You're going home. You're not writing an article on this. Send it to Watson. He'll do it. And you know what? That's a normal response by Aaron. He's normal. He's got his head screwed on straight. You can't read government documents where they brag, going back 60 years, how they're poisoning the water and the food. Over 60 years ago, how they would genetically engineer crops when they discovered the double helix and discovered DNA. And how they would create binary weapons and other degenerative weapons that take time and that mix with other poisons and, 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 and bio agents that have been introduced so that the average compartmentalized doctor or even specialist can't recognize it, though there are now thousands of doctors and chemists and scientists that have reverse engineered what's going on and have gone public. But you don't have to reverse engineer it. These people are so arrogant that they write policy papers, so many of them, that they're producing these policy papers and reports and white papers so fast, so fast, that you could never read them all. A group of, of, of just two or three people here in my office that research this, we could never read them all. It is warehouses full of it. It is an open conspiracy against you and your family. I pray to God, I pray to my Heavenly Father Jesus Christ every night to give me the strength and the will to be able to face this horror and to give me the strength to carry on because I know why a lot of you don't want to look at this information and just want to comment on the YouTube videos or on message boards that I'm a liar. I know why. Because it's scary. And if you admit this to yourself, you're not going to be able to go to the ball games anymore. You're not going to be able to just go out and get drunk with your friends. You're not going to be able to just... 
you know, go out and enjoy yourself all the time and not spend some of your energy on resisting this. And once you face this information, once you've consciously admitted it to yourself, it will take over your life. It should take over your life. Well, I mean, what else? What else could it do? The only chance we've got of beating this scientific dictatorship, this creeping death that takes its time to incrementally enslave you, mentally, psychologically, physically, spiritually, the only way to defeat it is for the rank and file of this planet to realize that you have a choice to make on what your destiny is going to be. Win, lose, or draw... You need to choose a side. You need to spend some time this afternoon, this evening, over the weekend to close the shutters, to sit there in your easy chair, and to just sit back and think about the claims I've made here and decide on whether or not you're going to research the information we've laid out. Because this information is too important. I do not want you to simply sit here and listen to what I've said and then go out on message boards and say Alex Jones says they want to reduce our population. That they are poisoning us. And that they're incrementally increasing the amount of poisons and genetic manipulation that's going on. Oh, we've got to get past the artificial stigma that the control corporate media has been putting out for decades ahead of their open of unveiling of planetary dictatorship. I mean, all these reports, whether it's the Rockefeller report we were reading last night that we're linked to on prisonplanet.com or whether it's ecoscience or whether it's Time Magazine saying only have one child, it's good for the environment. They all talk about how we need a police state to carry this out. They're now in hundreds of publications the last six months, in the British and U.S. and European newspapers and Australian as well, saying, you know what, the public's too stupid to agree to one-child policies and euthanasia and all this. We need a planetary police state, that's their quote over and over again, to carry out this great work. They're being public about it. In fact, I'm going to come back from break here in a minute, and um, I'm going to go ahead and get into this first, the whole eugenics, and, and, and just what's on my plate today. Just what's in the mainstream news today. And when I make the point that without even looking, I'm, we're not even looking for this stuff. It's just, it's just everywhere. This is their religion. This is their system. This is their methodology, their way of life, what they believe in. And even your average yuppie who's under this scientific attack knows that the received knowledge and wisdom, that their false common sense is, yeah, there's too many people. And you tell a yuppie about other foods being poisoned. Well, there are too many people. You fool, they're hitting you too. They, they, they like automatically think because they buy into it at a lower level, kind of an outer cult member, that it makes it okay. It's not okay. And the globalists are not doing this for the environment. They are destroying the environment. They are rewriting the entire genetic code of the planet right now. You need to understand that. Hounded by debt collectors with phone calls and letters? Thinking of calling a debt relief company? Don't. Greedy lawyers and debt companies charge thousands. Why pay when you can get their solution absolutely free with New York Times best-selling author Herb Kay's number one debt secret, the how-to on stopping the calls without paying the debt companies. Yes, free for a very limited time. Here's Herb Kay. Don't get ripped off by credit repair companies when I can give you the information you need to do it yourself for free. Herb Kay was right. His free information helped me stop the calls and settle my debt. What do you have to lose? Stop the calls now. Get out of debt and have more money. Get Herb Kay's number one debt secret absolutely free now. Call 800-405-7850. That's 800 800- 
The economy is crumbling, debt soaring, and the possibility of World War III is increasing. I started SurvivalistSeeds.com from my dining room table with a small bucket of seed and a single rotating banner ad on PrisonPlanet.com. Two years later, we've sold over 40,000 pounds of heirloom seeds, becoming the largest bulk seed seller to the public. The majority of our customers are Alex Jones listeners. Now I'm offering 50 all organic garden varieties, 10,000 heirloom seeds, garden planner, and a CD teaching you how to save seeds so your children's children will always have healthy food. Don't wait until it's too late. I'm Big John Lipscomb.